Hey guys, and welcome to a new reading vlog. I am going to be reading a series in perfect time for the new year. As I'm recording this, it's just before Christmas time, but I wanted to have kind of like a nostalgic reading vlog that to bring in the new year with. And what better way to reliving my junior high experience of reading the TTYL books. I have three, I think there's only three in the series. I've only read the three and I haven't read these since high school probably or maybe even junior high. So we will see how I like them. Of course you start with TTYL. Um, I will check in with you guys when I do pick it up and got, get a little bit farther into the book. I kind of want something that is going to be super quick and easy to read uh, today and while I um, kind of just work on it. Yeah, I just want something quick and easy to read today in between my work stuff and the way that this... As I just drop it. <laughs> but as this book is kind of set up in I am so it's going to be super quick and easy to read so yeah I will check in with you guys once I get into the book and um, kind of have some thoughts about how I feel about it now hey guys. so I got a little bit past the 50 page mark in this and I forgot how similar and speak that this is of how I was whenever I was messaging my friends when I was in high school. Now I do have to say that the language is pretty dated for a lot of the um, the lingo in here. Um, they use some like derogatory type of words to um, really describe other girls um, as a lot of like slut shaming um, well not a lot of slut shaming honestly but they do call other girls that they don't like derogatory names so there's a lot of in that that I'm not a big fan of but other than that it's definitely reminding me of my high school experience <music> I just wanted to let you know that I had finished reading TTYL. I had enjoyed it for the most part. There was a lot of parts of it that were definitely really dated, which brought down my review of it. I think I gave it around like three or three and a half stars after like careful consideration. I did enjoy the experience of reading it because it just really brought me back to that mind space of like reminding me of how I was when I was reading it for the first time. So, but that aspect, I did enjoy it, but I can see a lot of issues with it. There is definitely a lot of, like, uh, a good amount of slut shaming, I shouldn't say a, a lot, but there is. Um, that word is usually thrown around whenever they don't like somebody. There is a lot of, like, girl hating in this um, book and there is an issue with a teacher uh, predatory or like predatory actions um, but other than that um, like those things were the reasons why I brought down my um, reading for it a bit but other than that I do enjoy it um, I just realized I grabbed the third book I am going to start sometime today hopefully TTFN the second book in the series so I am hoping to get that done within like the next like couple of days we'll see what I get up to but other than that yeah I just wanted to do a quick update and let you know my thoughts on the first book <laughs> Don't leave 
Hey guys, I just wanted to do an update. I finished reading TTFN. Um, I did enjoy this one a little bit more than the first one. Um, I had um, more grown-up themes, like with it being a year since the first book. There was a little bit more adult content in there. It had um, talk about like first love, um, being, um, what's the word? Being more sexually active. Not there's not explicit scenes in here. Um, it just talks about like one of the girls fooling around with her boyfriend and almost um, sleeping with him. And it does have some uh, content warnings for uh, drugs, because um, it is mentioned of a pot in here, and it deals with the concept of being a teenage girl who is forced to move across the country um, due to her parent uh, losing a job, things like that. So definitely really relatable um, in here for, um, I believe that there's supposed to be juniors in this year, so I definitely can see a lot of the themes um, popping up that was prevalent during my time at school, so I did enjoy that. I haven't ran it through my spreadsheet yet to see what my rating is. Um, I'm going to do that here now and I will check in with you guys and let you know what the final rating ended up being. Okay, so the book, it's a four star, it is like 7.3 star, or 7.3 ratio according to call pile, but it comes up to being like a four star. So, um, so it did come out better than the first book because I think I gave the first book like three or three and a half stars. So that is saying something. Now I need to get into reading Later Gator, which is the third and final book that I have. I believe it's just a trilogy, but these are just the copies that I have. So I am excited to get on to the last book. <laughs> I just wanted to update you guys on this. I finished Later Gator. I gave it four stars overall. It was definitely um, probably up there with the first book altogether. I'll just give a brief, I'll read the summary in it and it says, throughout their senior year in high school, Zoe, Maddie, and Angela continue to share instant messages with one another about their day-to-day -day experiences as they consider college, sex, the importance of prom, and the inevitable end of their inseparable, tr inseparable tr trio. And yeah, I really enjoyed it. It definitely um, had an older quality to it. It had a lot of talk about um, still kind of like dealing with a bully and a little bit of slut shaming in this. So that is kind of like something that is super dated in this but overall the experience of reading the entire series is one that I really enjoyed. I really recommend it if you want something that is really fluffy and really entertaining to read. I highly recommend it and that is the end of the series vlog. Um, overall I think I would give the entire series like um, a four stars because um, I believe I gave the first one four stars, the second one three and a half, and then this last one four stars. So I really did enjoy the series and I'm glad I have my own copies where I can 
and continue to look back and kind of reminisce about the time in my life when I had first read it. So I enjoy, I think I just have that mindset set for it. But um, thank you so much, you guys, for checking out this video and leave me the a smiley face emoji in the comments to show that you made it to the end of the video. And like this video if you enjoy this kind of content for me and subscribe to keep up to date for any future series vlogs I happen to uh, come out with in the future. And until next time, you guys. Bye.